Hey guys, Joshua Zamora here. Just wanted to put together a quick video so uh, that you can watch over my shoulder as I look for some good keywords that I can target for new videos. Uh, keyword research is one of the things that I see a lot of people struggling with, so hopefully I can help you out in this video just to get an idea of how I enter, enter into a new market uh, with when I have no keywords and I'm just um, you know, kind of looking for those golden keywords. So let me go ahead and jump in over to the Google Keyword Tool. That's usually where my research starts, uh, and I just kind of cut down from there. Uh, so and usually when I'm looking, go into the Keyword Planner, I kind of already have an idea of what product or what niche I want to enter, and then I kind of go into a broad uh, keyword and then cut down from there. Um, so recently I've been. Uh, struggling with uh, uh, some lower back pain uh, that's been really uh, affecting me over the last couple weeks and finally I got all the kinks worked out uh, I've been doing some stretches and some exercises uh, so I'm gonna I've been wanting to see what the market is like for that and kind of monetize with uh, some physical products that I've been using that have really helped me uh, that I'm sure I can find on Amazon and, and monetize through there um, so sometimes I do it like that sometimes I have keywords and I match them to products and other times I have products and I look for keywords so it just really depends on the situation and, and where I see the product or if the you know if a keyword just pops into my mind I'll, or a niche pops into my mind uh, you know sometimes I have the keywords first and then the products or sometimes I have the products and then the keywords it just works out like like that there's no specific rhyme or reason to going uh, getting the keywords first or getting the products first uh, but in this particular example, I kind of have the keywords first because I personally have been uh, dealing with lower back pain. So uh, what I usually do is come here and put lower back pain. Whoops, I kind of did that backwards. Lower back pain. And I'll, like I said, I start with a, a kind of a general term like that. And then uh, I kind of cut it down. So let me go ahead and click over, on over to keyword ideas. And as you can see, by default, you're going to be taking add a group ideas. Just click over to keyword ideas, and then you'll see all of the different um, keywords that Google suggests. Uh, so let's see here. Now, usually what I look for is a search term that gets uh, above 300 searches a month at least. Uh, and 300 is kind of pushing it. If I see one that's 300, I usually want to look for at least three or four keywords that get 300 searches a month so that I can get over that 1,000 uh, searches a month hump. Um, and you know, and, but if I find a keyword that has over a thousand on one go, that's perfect. And usually, I like to with uh, one video, I like to target three to four keywords, uh, similar keywords for that one video, so I can maximize my traffic. Uh, so if uh, again, uh, my minimum is a thousand, but if it takes two to three keywords to reach a thousand, I'll add those up together and uh, go like that. Uh, so let's see. Here's a good one here: How to relieve lower back pain. This is a perfect one. Uh, so I'm going to come up here and add this here. All right, uh, that gets 29. And usually I don't pay attention to this competition column here because I do my own competition analysis after, and we'll go ahead and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, stretches for lower back pain. Uh, that's not really so good because if someone's looking for stretches, um, then it might be a little tough to push them to a product after. So I'm kind of looking for people that want to relieve their back pain uh, so that I can tell them how I relieve my back pain and the products that I used and give them the, the recommended link so that they can buy through my affiliate link. Uh, so let me see what else is here that I can exercise for lower back pain. This is a good one. All right, because uh, my regimen that helped me out was different exercises and diff using different products that really helped me um, and let me go ahead and remove this one usually I never target this first keyword that I'm that I put in there I just use that to get ideas um, and let me see and the good thing about that I'm seeing here is that depending on what is ranking you can probably create or I can probably create a authority site and authority YouTube channel and just start ranking videos for all of these keywords and push them all to a 
uh, authority site where I also target all of these different kind of keywords because it seems like there's so many keywords around lower back pain and here's a good one what to do for lower back pain you know there's so many different variations of this term that I'm pretty sure I can create a All right, why does that do that okay so all right so here's just an I'm, I, every time I put this in there it kind of gets that scrolling bar so I'll just keep that here and uh, keep in mind that I want to do this one so let me go ahead and highlight this and where I go from here is I kind of take the keywords that I've just found and I go to Google and just Google search them and see what comes up so let's see what to do for lower back pain and beautiful look at this there's not a single video ranking on the first page and for me that's a great sign all right, and what I see ranking here is WebMD, WebMD, which is a pretty big authority site, and the fact that they have both top listings is a great uh, sign for me. But another great sign is that I don't see any of these that are specifically optimized for my target keyword. So this is a great sign for me. Uh, no videos, none of these are specifically targeting my target keyword. And let me open up a Google Doc. Uh, because I want I want you guys to see my process throughout this uh, whole thing uh, so I'm gonna go create take me to drive all right let's go here we go document all right and let that load. All right, perfect. So let me where are these keywords? Let me grab these keywords from here. All right, and all right, this one as well. Let me add this one. All right, perfect. And what I'm gonna do now as well, uh, because this seems right off the bat, this is a great keyword. Let me click on over to the videos tab. Oh man, look at that. This is perfect. The one the top video is a WebMD video. All right. Uh this second video doesn't even it's not even optimized for my target keyword. All right. And none of these are actually optimized for my target keyword. So this is an amazing amazing keyword and I'm actually going to I'm I'm excited cuz I'm going to go ahead and make a video for this. Uh, let me go ahead and hey, please don't copy my keywords. Just use this to um, you know find your own keywords because this is exactly what I do for my target keywords and what I'm gonna do now as well um, is copy the ones that I see here that are related perfect so all these this one doesn't seem like it's related what to do for lower back pain while pregnant that is talk about a freaking targeted keyword if you're pregnant or you know about this and or, or even if you don't know about this you can probably get even more targeted by creating something for women that are pregnant uh, talk about a targeted keyword all right so what I'm gonna do now is why can you change save my changes all right let me revert so this is not cooperating and um, basically what I do okay here we go okay what is going on with this there we go what alright this is acting up let me go ahead and open up a new document. All right, there we go. Let me see if I can. All right, let me just paste it like that. Yeah, I knew this was going to happen. All of these have links now, so let me remove these. Remove. And what I'm using these keywords for is in my description, I'm going to paste all of these 
long tail keywords in my description as well so I can maximize my traffic and also use these keywords in my in my backlinking as my anchor text so that I can have a wide variety of anchor texts um, that I can use so that Google it looks natural to Google that I'm getting all of these different related but different anchor text as my uh, anchor text when building my backlinks um, so boom this one is a great keyword so that that's a winner and again here's the process that I went through I went to Google I went broad I then went uh, more specific what to do for lower back pain um, I googled it these top 10 results they do they're not optimized for my target keyword uh, when I go to the videos tab none of these are optimized for my target video and this first result is a WebMD result which is a great sign so I, I know that I can pretty I'm pretty confident that I can target this keyword uh, and I'll just go ahead and do that for all the other ones as well how to relieve lower back pain all right and as you can see all I'm doing is using free tools I mean two tools actually just Google keyword tool and the uh, and googling now um, all right so how to relieve lower back pain all right webmd again at the top webmd again here at the top but none of these seem like they're specifically targeting my keyword how to get rid of lower back pain wiki how um, it's a similar term mine is how to relieve lower back pain here's one all right so the first one uh, that's actually targeting my my keyword is in position uh, five I believe or seven or somewhere down there okay uh, this video here uploaded look at that uploaded in 2009 all right um, and it's not even targeting my target keyword so this is another great term uh, let me go ahead and copy these as well except for this mi this uh, middle one because this middle relieves sciatica I don't know maybe that's the uh, um, the medical term Alright, we'll just leave it like that. So maybe that term there is the medical term for lower back pain. So let me go ahead and remove that one. Alright. Perfect. And I'll remove these later. Um, so perfect. This one looks like yet another winner. There is a video on the first page, but it was uploaded back in 2009. It's not optimized. And... It's not even optimized. Well, I guess here he starts optimizing it after. But let me go ahead and click through and see what's going on here. And this is a great sign. All right, I think like I found a really great niche that I can go into, and I'm pretty sure I can dominate this niche as well. All right, 926,000 views, uploaded in 2009. Let's see what's going on here. Scott Thorne, hey you, the one with low back pain. All right, let's see what he's doing over on his site. To see if there's any monetization here, right? And this is great here. You know, these are real views, likes, dislikes, comments. So this is looks like it's a great video, and it might be ranking uh, just because you know it's it's uh, got some good uh, authority here. But nothing shows me that I can't outrank this video. Um, All right, so he's not really, he's just sending everyone to his homepage, which is horrible. All right, because he has stuff about everything. If this were me, I'd probably either send it to a specific page that talks more about back pain or to a squeeze page that uh, asks them to opt in to get a free report or anything. Or, or most likely, I'll just send to a, a landing page that talks more about lower back pain, talks about the product that I'm going to mention in the in the video and do that so this is a horrible monetization strategy that he's doing it was uploaded in 2009 um, so this is a great sign let me click over to the videos tab and see what's going on here all right and all of these all right yeah so this I'm sure this is um, uh, the medical term for lower back pain all right perfect 
yeah none of these are specifically targeting my target keyword so I'm good to go this is a great term for me to target um, and again that's pretty much all I do I, I look at the search volume I make sure that it's um, at least 300 searches per month usually I like to if it's 300 I'll group up three to four keywords that add up to over a thousand if not I'll just look for some here that are between 13 2000 4000 uh, searches uh, and then Google them and see what the what the um, uh, videos are looking like. If there's no videos on the first page, is a great sign. Uh, and then if if there is a video on the first page, I'll click through and, and and analyze it a little bit more and see what's going on and take it from there. All right. And then again, all of these keywords here that once you Google it and you see all of this information down here, I copy these and I use them as uh, I put them in my description of my videos and I also use these as uh, the anchor text for my backlinking all right so hopefully this helped you out guys uh, and tomorrow there's actually a, this is a great way for you to do it but tomorrow there's actually a tool that's coming out uh, it's called tube viper x um, and it'll help you kind of do this process in a more streamlined fashion with uh, software all right and the good thing about it is it's an adobe air and a pc software so it works on any machine that you have um, and it kind of puts what I just did manually and does it for you in a software. It does all of your uh, keyword research in it. And I can quickly show it to you. I don't want this video to get too long, but uh, here's just an example of what it does. And, and if you've seen my Tube Sniper Pro software, it's very similar to that, but uh, I do have to give uh, these guys props. This is by Lisa Ann and Anthony Aries. Uh, and they did um, create this in an Adobe Air software, so it's it's cross-platform, so you can use it. Uh, and it, like I said, it's very similar to Tube Sniper Pro, but they've taken a step further and made it uh, Mac and PC based. And they've also added some additional um, great um, features in here uh, that you can use. All right, but I don't want to get too much into it. Tomorrow you'll be able to see a full demo of it and ex of exactly what it does. It kind of basically takes the entire process that I just went through and um, and automates it for you. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helps you. And uh, if you want to check out this uh, software, Tube, uh, Tube Viper X, I'll put a link to it below. Again, it should be going live tomorrow the 14th at about the 11 a.m. Uh, so hopefully this video helped you out.